Hey guys, Tank here. Welcome to RC Talk. Welcome to RC Talk. Uh, we have Kagan here with us on the other side, so we'll go and say hi to him. I'll turn his audio back on because I basically shut him up. He was talking too much. He was just talking too much. No, he wasn't. He was being very quiet and very cooperative. Hey, Kagan. So, Tonight, uh, we're going to be working on a couple things. Um, I was shopping with my son, and I told him I wanted to do something uh, different. Uh, I like uh, doing things different uh, in the sense that um, trying to do things that I've not seen yet done. Uh, and one thing was a actually a rear-facing seat, but a baby seat to go into the car. I don't think I ever seen anybody do a scale item like that for a truck. So I want to do one that I can put into my truck and actually fasten with a kind of seat belt or whatever, so I can actually remove it and uh, and so on. So for this, uh, I was looking for a baby, uh, but a scale baby. Nice. So uh, to go with the tank and to go with the tank's girlfriend. Yeah. So, uh, which one do you have? I, I made this a little while ago. I actually found this little baby on the ground one time, and then I made a little styrofoam baby seat for it. Ah, uh, shoot. So it's been done before, so I don't have to do it. Now you can feel free. <laughs> I haven't shown anybody. It's all yours. No, no it's cool. Right. I just stuck a sticker bomb the whole chair and used a couple of old tie wraps to hold them in. Yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to try to do also today. Um, so it's kind of, it should be kind of neat. Um, I'm just winging it, just like like all the time when we try something, we just wing it and we just try it out. Yep. So, but basically, what I found for a little baby, uh, I think it might be a little bit scalar than what yours is because I, I like to try to be scale. Right. Is I found this little guy from Halo. Oh, cool. So he's a very small little guy. So I, my, and my son says, Daddy, he's not a baby because he's got an armor. <laughs> he's like, that's you true, Sebastian. I tell him, that's true, but I'm going to fix it. And he looks at me kind of weird, and he didn't say a word because he knows I'm going to do something. <laughs> so it, it, to, to me, it looks like a pretty nice scale. It should be kind of neat. Uh, yeah, definitely. So the, the face is nice. I'm going to try to make it look more like a baby, but I will be taking off the center armor off of it, and then I'll probably paint him a different color. Or, uh, But like I told them, uh, a baby in a um, baby carriage always has a little blanket over him all the way up, cover up to his head. So right. that's another option I can do is actually yeah. hide him like that. So yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. So let me resize my window and see if anybody is online right now. So we can see what's going on. So I'm just resizing my stuff, checking my windows. And I gotta be quick to mute myself. Okay, so it is working. We do have some people watching already. Okay. Um, you can find a link to join in into my Facebook page, which is the Tank RC, or Google+. Plus. There's two places where you can actually find the link for it. So uh, for that, let me find you a page or a link for the post. Copy link address. So I'll post that into the comments here. You join, just follow the uh, the link, and it'll bring you to my Facebook page. And hopefully that works for you guys. And we are now have four people watching. Hi guys, welcome to RC Talk. Today we're going to be building some scale item, or actually we're going to try to. So let me reposition my windows.
I'm working with one monitor. I got to set up a different, uh, another monitor in here. So I can uh, play with some stuff. So one of the first thing I really want to do real quick is um, with this guy. So I don't have my spoiler anymore on this guy. That's my Mini Z. This thing is uh, 18 or 20 years old, at least. So it's a Mini Z. Um, you don't find these anymore. It's discontinued. So it is a remote control. Uh, this is um, the old radio. It's not 2.4 gigahertz. It is the old radio with a crystal. But it used to have a spoiler here. So I'm ready. I got myself another spoiler here I found. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one-tenth scale scaler. So what we're going to do today is we're going to attach. No, we're not going to attach that. I was just kidding. Yeah, it would be good. This is a nice spoiler I found, carbon fiber. It's yeah. for a tenth scale. So it is going to be nice. I picked it up. I didn't really need it at the time, but the price was good. So I picked it up and I said, I'll, I'll use it later. Yeah. But going through my stuff, I did find it. Oh, great. So uh, that's one thing with these cars is um, they, uh, the body really holds the value. The rest of the car doesn't. A lot of people are actually looking for these old cars or these old bodies because they are no longer manufactured. But gotcha. basically, this is what a Mini Z looked like. This is the very first version of the Mini Z. Okay. Uh, the only thing for suspension is actually this piece of plastic here. Right. And I've broken this more than once. Mm -hmm. Because when you hit something on the side, or this is the only thing for a, a suspension. Nowadays, you can actually get these in carbon fiber. So I'm thinking I'm going to order one just in case. Uh, my son wanted to play with it the other day. I said, well, I don't know. It's, it's, it's old, and my tires were cracking. But I went to see a buddy of mine here in Ottawa, and he gave me a four set of tires. So the tires are good now. Oh. And when I found my spoiler, I did find one screw. So basically what I want to do real quick tonight before I lose the stupid screw is put it back on. I was looking at the ocean. Sorry, I'm kind of loud. I'm kind of loud under my chair. Yeah, you, you were looking into the Kyosho Mini for what? Uh, another scale to get into for RCs. I, I, I watched okay. some of the Geostealth R, R1's YouTube videos down in New York City. He does some racing with it. Okay, okay. It's pretty interesting. But the, the only thing is, I only got one of these little tiny screws. Oh, so okay. <laughs> I have to find more, and I have no idea where to find them. So I'm right. going to have to switch the web or whatever and, and, and try to find the size of this screw. And because if you go to the yeah. local hardware store, you're not going to find these screws. They're almost like watch screws. They're very small. Yeah, I was going to say maybe eyeglass screws or... Yeah. So what I'm doing real quick, I'm just basically putting it back on so I don't lose it. So I did have one screw that I found again. Um, I'm kind of that kind of guy. I usually keep a lot of things. And I knew where I, I, I left it, which was on my desk in the corner, uh, which is piling up. But I knew it was there. So I do have one screw. I'm missing one screw. But for now, at least, I can't lose it. And my car is actually complete. Nice. Um, and this body actually still has the mirrors. Nothing's broken. Nothing is very scratched on it. I was looking at the, some of the um, uh, website that uh, shows what people are selling at and what they're um, asking for it. And they're saying that this one with the gloss finish, which I'm not sure if this is gloss, but it, it is kind of glossy. Mm -hmm. Um but some people were saying that this body, just the body alone, was worth three hundred dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, but, I know that. But the non-glossy, the non-glossy one was uh, like fifty-eight dollars. Okay. Must have been more popular. Or limited edition, or limited run. Right. True. Yeah. So that's kind of 
it's a it's a nice skill to get into it's it, it's a fun it's what's nice with it is that it doesn't take a lot of room yeah. and uh, when you're racing in the basement the track is not that big you can find a corner or do it in the living room or do it in your kitchen it seems like they but when you hit it pretty good too oh yes they do no, and they do kind of have the uh, Sorry. lights so you can actually buy light kits for these and actually put all the lights in there for the front and the rear it, it, it's really neat the, all the the little gadget that they have for them and i still have the same stand that it came with which is this it puts them on an angle and then you just put the cap on i got you i've seen when they sell the bodies they sell sell them on like a fake chassis yeah the they like sell that. them on the fake. yeah they do sell them on the fake chassis and that's what these uh, rubbers, not the rims. The rims came with the car. Yeah. But these rubbers came on one of those chassis, and that's why the guy said, "Here, you can have these. I have a bunch of these." Okay. So um, he he gave me a set of tires, which was nice of him. Yeah, definitely. And I had a quick race with him. I had a quick race with him, but man, I'm telling you, I was out of practice with these little guys, and he was it was his track at his house, and he was just going around like crazy. Right. He was having fun. Yeah, they, sometimes they put little transponders in them so that they set off a thing to count the laps. Yes, but yeah, this was at his house, uh, so he was not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't have the, the lap counters, but uh, we do have some local places that actually do have that. Right. That's nice. Uh, before when we got on, Kagan, you mentioned real quick. We'll go with some of your stuff real quick. Uh, you mentioned that you've created some scale items. Yep. Yeah, just out of uh, pieces of plastic, odds and ends that I've saved. At, out of work, I do. I, I'm an electrician, so I often throw away lots of pieces of plastic that come with fans and stuff. So, like, I made a chain, so a scale chainsaw. Cool. And you made all the the teeth and all that. How did you make that? Or you just carved uh, it out of plastic? Yeah, these I cut little triangles of plastic and then super glued them all onto a piece of plastic that I cut in a like an oval. And then I um, this is a it's a fan stabilizer piece. It's usually rubber. I just carved it up and I glued little chunks of plastic onto it and then painted it all. There's a piece of wire here and uh, yeah, mostly some paint. Nice plastic and glue really makes it all i just keep adding on to it when you think it needs a little bit of something like i this is where i caught all the teeth out of to make the grabber bars or whatever that's called for when you're cutting um yeah. other items uh remote control for your rc car or your matchbox car for your rc car that's just a skateboard wheel from those little skateboards you can get and a couple of screws nice. that stripped out I couldn't use in my car anymore. So instead of throwing them away, I used them in this. It's more pain again on another type of stabilizer that I cut and carved up. And then the usual bed rolls, cool. just some foam cut two inches by six inches with some zip ties. And mm -hmm. uh, a pull, pull rope like everybody makes. I wrapped it around. And yeah. you, I believe you suggested once that you used... Uh, thread a decent gauge thread and sewed the pieces together so i did that and then used a heat shrink like you said and that works cool. pretty good oh um, yeah it's, it's very strong yeah they are really good never had a problem with them um and then little barrels out of soup cans just uh foam core cut in circles and glued into the ends and then paint this one's painted for bp and i forget what this one is golf i think Yeah, the, that's a small soda can, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, it might be um, pineapple juice. Oh, okay, okay. So pineapple juice or something like that. Cool. And then uh, this is a sh I just grabbed like a plastic shim. They make these now instead of wooden shims. Yes. For shimming a door or something, and it's got pretty good traction. So I'm gonna. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll probably use it as a sand ladder. Something to scale over rocks and what have you. Instead of buying like a set of these for $20, Max okay. Tracks ones, they're nice and really scale. But 
the, the Christian Mercy Network is asking to join in the link. Uh, best place to find it would be on my Google pl Plus page or on uh, my the Tank RC page, which I posted a link in the comment. I'll try again posting it here, but every time we post it, it actually changed the names of it. So I don't know if it's still going to work. Give that a try. And uh, if it does work, good. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know. But the best place to actually get the link would be on my the Tank RC Google Plus page. And I'll paste that link also. And you'll see a uh, RC Talk page. Well, yeah, let me know if that worked. I made this car seat out of foam core. I, I meant to say earlier, Frank, I just layered different layers of foam core and kept gluing it and carving it a little bit and then painting it. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I was actually thinking of using foam uh, at the office. I have a, like a foam uh, stuff and I said, ah, maybe just carving it in the foam and taking a Dremel and just carving it into it would make it, would make it work also. Yeah. Yep. Nice so. sharp jack and knife works pretty good. Yeah. Yes, it would, does. One thing that, uh, like you showed that can of juice, uh, one guy, uh, Sato Rodas, uh, that I follow, and he's from France, he used these can of Cokes. Um, they're the small ones, which are 222 millimeters. They're the smaller can because my hand is like almost covering the whole thing. Um, but he, what he's done, he's, he's making barrels out of these. So yeah, I think you saw that video. Yeah, so it's it's a nice little video. It's very easy. You put a piece of cardboard on top. Uh, there we go. Somebody just joined in. Uh, take a piece of cardboard, cut it, put it on top to hide this. You glue a rope around here uh, to make it look, and then you can do the same on top and bottom. To, and then you paint the whole thing and make it look like a, uh, a barrel. Uh, one thing I thought of doing, which uh, this is why I kept these, I'm going to fill these with uh, uh, spray insulation foam. Uh, the reason I want to do this is so that they're a little heavier and that's so that they don't, uh, they don't collapse. Or if I hit them with an RC, that they're not going to uh, be all okay, shrivel and all yeah, kink. So it's yeah. going to stop the kinking. Good idea. And if your car goes in the water, it'll be more buoyant. That's true. That's true. So I got I got a six packs of these, so it's going to be kind of cool once I do them, uh, and like that I can stack them and we can actually run through them or whatever, make it <laughs> make a, like the Dukes of Hazard uh, or whatever. Maybe I should keep them like like that. If I do hit them, they they're going to look more realism for the kinking part. Right. Uh, maybe if I seal it and then it's just the air in there, uh, maybe it's going to withstand a little bit. Um, so I'm going to experiment. And that, that's what this is all about, is, is making scale stuff and experimenting with it. Yep. Another video I did a little while ago, it's not a scale stuff, but it's this guy. Oh, yeah, your shock stand. Yeah, so I needed, I needed to build some shocks, and I needed something to hold the shocks while I was building it. So basically, you just take your shock... And while you're filling it, you can just put them in there, and the whole thing holds up. That's a good idea for letting the air bubbles out of them. Yeah, and then you just let it sit and let the air bubbles out of them. And this cost me nothing, except my wife is missing four clothespins. Right. And this can of yellow is not empty yet, but it's still usable. Yeah. Plus, it gives me a nice little weight. Yeah, it's handy. It holds them stable. I put them in my um, Duratrax RC stand, but yeah, they got to balance them in there just right. And you know, at least yours holds them more stable. Like this is just a hole you stick them down in, and if it's not yeah. the right size shock, it doesn't sit properly. And that's nice. Yeah, for Christmas, I asked for um, uh, I got this other thing in the corner here the blue stand. Yeah, it's it's a just to hold your tools. So oh, yeah. I got that and holds parts and all and all that. It's 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 a nice little item. Um, 
But yeah, so for on most stand, most stands you do get uh, will have holes, and you can actually use that to hold your shocks, depending on the size of the shocks you have. So some yeah. people do use this to hold the shocks. That's my little baby. I haven't given a name yet. But he should be a good size. And the other thing is, let me just switch camera. The other thing also that I want to try to do is crutches. Uh, because like I mentioned last time on my TF2, uh, I have the... Um, the guy that you actually buy with the, the RC four wheel drive kit that they have. And it's a guy that you put together and you put the arms and he just stays like that. But the problem with him is that they're cut at the knees. Right. So what I've done is I've used an old skeleton I had, which was almost the same size and I cut off the legs and I did the prosthesis on him. So he's got two fake legs uh, just for me to have the scale points. So now, I have to build crutches so I can put them in the truck so it matches, so it's going to help them walk, but they're going to be uh, just items or scale items uh, to actually give me more points. Right. You could use some um, coffee stirrers. Couple of them. I could, but this is that's too complicated. I'd rather use some... Uh, I had some uh, 3 16th... Um, 3 16th... Styrene tubes. So yeah, basically, that's I haven't tried that yet. Yeah. So basically, this is what I'm going to use here. I'm going to use these styrene tubes, and it's going to make it easier. And that's the first thing I'm going to try building tonight while we talk. And we can talk about pretty much anything because if I just talk and I just build, and then it becomes boring. But the RC Christian Network. Uh, yes. Uh, who are you? Not really who are you, but what's your story? What's your story uh, and where are you Cappy. from? Hey? Cappy, thank you. Oh, Cappy. Yeah. Change your name again. Yeah. Okay. We know Cappy. Okay. Bye, Cappy. Nice to see you. Yes. Good evening. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> yep, I've, I've watched a few RC talks with Cappy in it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the first thing I want to try to do is um, actually try to figure out the proper height for my crutches. Mm -hmm. So the only way I can do that and make it uh, scale is would be probably with the tank here. Right. It's good Mind you, this guy's taller. All right. Well, yeah. crutches are or can be adjusted to, you know, different people, so... Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to make them adjustable. They're going to be one size. They are just scaled items. So, But as long as it looks scale enough, that's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. sure. And to make to give them the bend, because like I put on my picture, like the, there's a whole bunch of different styles of crushes. But um, this one should be pretty simple and pretty easy to do. I'm going to try to keep it simple. I just got to find my knife, find my stuff. Are you going to paint them? And GCM racing. Like exact... ones or Pardon me? Like wood ones. Are you going to make them look like aluminum ones or wooden ones? Aluminum. I do have nice. some aluminum paint here. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using. But I first need a leg. And that's going to be the adjustable leg. Okay. I need a pencil. With all my junk here, I should be able to find a pencil. So, Cappy, what have you been working on? I've seen a couple of your videos lately. I don't uh, always comment, but I know you're working on what? some stuff. Yeah, I've been um, I've been working on Die Hard quite a bit recently. Changed it up a ton. Um, as of right now, really all I need to complete it are some shocks. Uh, Couple tires and um, what else? Uh, drive shafts, which aren't okay. really that much of a problem right now. I just need to wait 
to order them. Yeah, you can find a lot of um, cheap dry shaft or shocks on the uh, on eBay. Uh, so there's a lot of them. Yeah. I've also made a new, I'm also building a new body for a uh, cappy crawler right now. And I'm going to get it some brushless so it can actually pull the weight of this body instead okay. of just being a sluggish red cat. What are you making this one out of cappy? The, the corrugated plastic again? That's no, I'm right. making it out of steel. Oh, that's right. You want the steel on the, the last latest version. That's right. Mm -hmm. nice. And I, I tell you what. I've started, I've started doing this and I really, I'm, for this one, I'm going back to the really heavily abused sort of rot rod look with it. I'll turn my camera on. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like so far. It's a M37, which is basically the four wheel drive version of a deuce and a half. And I've already started making a deck and everything for it. Looks good. Thank you. I'm planning on building a grill for this part. Um, I'm not going to cut any holes into the back of this because it's all hollow underneath back here. And that's where some of the links are going to attach to on that back wall right there. But yeah. Um, I'm going to be quite pleased with the way this hood turned out. I used a ball peen hammer and some wood to give it that nice M curve and everything to it. So I like the way it turned out. It especially turned out really smooth right here on the bend right there. Nice. I think the more you work with stuff, the better you get with it. It's looking nice. Thank you. You thinking of doing any side rails on the bed or just the flat bed? Um, I'm thinking of doing them, but I might leave it like that. It's going to be, cool. it's going to be sitting pr pretty high up in relation. It's going to be, it's going to be about um, flush with the top of the, of the front fenders. Gotcha. Yeah, it's probably going to, you don't need much more top weight. Yeah. Uh, I've also painted a new body for my ECX Torment, which I turned back into an ECX Torment from uh, the Truggy that I had it in. Here, hold on. I'll get that into. Uh, whoops, hang on. I'll I'll mute my microphone because it's about to get loud. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my welding uh, torch and I'm actually trying to heat up the styrene just a little bit to so I can actually give this thing a curve. And man. You really don't have to heat up this stuff. It really, if you heat it up too much, but you can really do nice little curves with it. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's a nice like one. <laughs> the first one is all uh, kind of dented a little bit, but I'll leave it the same. I got four to do, so. Yeah. But basically, let me shut off my torch. Put it aside so it cools down. So now I just did by eye real real quick, but I got my two pieces. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. For my crutch. Now my tube could have been a little thinner or smaller. Maybe I should go buy some smaller one, but I'll make one for now and I'll see how it actually looks. But I'll make one. But I think my tube is a little bit too big for the crutch to be scale. Hmm. Um, I think it looks fine, but uh, well, yeah, I guess you'll see. But yeah, this is the body I've painted up for my ECX Torment. I've just got to get some Rhino liner for the back of it so that way it doesn't start cracking like the stock body did. Now, did you it's use a stencil for the back for the back for the logo? Uh, for the logo, I did. Um, for that, I also did. And for this back here, I did as well. But um, in all reality, it I don't care. It looks nice. <laughs> it's all painted on. And I love the way it looks. 
It does look good. Yes, thank you. Plus, it's not going to start doing backflips unintentionally in the air because it's got the flow tech body and everything and all that whatnot. All right. Cool. I'm going to parachute. Yep. I even noticed this really strange effect because I used rust -Oleum paint for this. Um, if you notice right here and a little bit of, you know, right there, you can see it a little bit better now. Um, those, those two little black spots right there. Um, I was using actually this stuff right here, just the gloss protective enamel. And then I'm not going to grab the paint that I used after that, but it was a metallic gold, which was for this. When I painted that on, I think there was more acetone or some other chemical in the paint that caused it to etch into the other two layers of the gloss protective enamel, which is the red and the black. And it created quite honestly, this really cool uh, cracking effect for it. Nice. Cool. I tried to replicate that a little bit much on this side right there to kind of cover up a bit of a mess up that I ended up doing because I meant to follow the body line right here with the paint, but that just didn't turn out. And I ended up making the paint separate right here and on the other side really bad as well. So there's a, a little splotch of gold, but quite honestly, I don't care because it's going to be a basher body anyways. No one's ever going to see it. Yeah. The fade to black really looks good. It looks, uh, it looks decent. Yeah, it's not easy it, to paint with red mm -hmm. I was thinking of doing um, a pattern or something on the windshields, but I was like, I just thought, screw it. I'm going to do it in black and get it over with. But yeah, you know, other than that, I, I do I like it a body. lot. What? I did the same thing for my slash bug body. I blacked out the windows also. It also has these uh, two fins that come with the ProLine Flowtech. Uh, They're the number and then uh, just fins that go right there. It has a, a black on the end of the fin and then a red, but on the other side, it's faded red to black. So it really looks cool, especially when you're looking at it from one way instead of the other. Nice. Yeah, overall, I'd call this one a, a nice success. There wasn't very much bleed through that's noticeable for that matter. Now, how long has that been painted? Um, I don't know. It would, couple weeks now maybe a month i've been waiting to get some rhino liner because it's a little not too cheap so yeah gotcha. yeah some people here have, have used the um uh, rust oleum paint like you said you've used but i found after a while they it, it doesn't seem to want to stick onto it you might have good luck but hopefully it doesn't crack too much but if it does, the worst thing that you could do is just take it apart and re uh, repaint it. Well, I will be putting a, a cut a coat of Rhino liner on the back, which okay. is like truck bed liner, which that'll keep everything in place. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, okay, okay, I get what you're gonna do. Yeah. Which I'm quite honestly glad that my dad noticed that because. Back when I did live in Arkansas, our local track, what they did for their renter trucks is they'd take their bodies on the rent trucks that they'd have and they'd paint them uh, all nice and cool and everything, but then they'd coat them with rhino liner. So that way, whoever they rented them out to, basically impossible to ever break that body. Sure, nice. you'd stuff it up, but you're never going to break it. It's going to stay in you know, basically brand new condition because it's one of man's strongest materials. And... You know what? I figured I might as well use it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be interested to see how it works for you. Yeah, I'm interested too. I'm gonna have to do a bit of um, a bit of Dremel work on the hole cutouts for the airlets because um, whatever bleeds through those with the Rhino liner, I'm gonna have to use a bit of cutting action so I can take off the film after I'm done with that.
I'm almost done one crutch. That's good. Goes quick, but I'd be happier with smaller tube. Right. Uh, Keep it for your um, UTV there, your that's larger size. Yeah. Vehicle you have six scale. Wow. We get eight scale. Or thing is. Yeah. Um, which one? Not the Jeep, not the military Jeep. No, the um, the little side by side. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, that's a smaller scale. It's even a smaller scale. Oh no, no, the older one you used to have on the Cross Canyon chassis, or oh yes, 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 yeah, I still have that cage. Yeah, I thought you meant this guy. Right. But you mean the other I one? The, the, uh, yeah, the <laughs> that Cross Canyon Canyon chassis is now my military jeep. Uh, I've convert uh, taken that cage off. That reminds me, I got to sell that cage. Right. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that now. Yeah, so uh, I've taken that Cross Canyon chassis because my son, for some odd reason, did not like it. But as soon as uh, I asked him, what do you want to do or what would you like to build? And he says, I want a military Jeep. So then I saw Tony that was uh, getting uh, rid of his body. He actually took his G made off and uh i said hey uh, do you want to can i buy that body off of you and he says i'll give it to you so he actually gave it to me he sent it to me and i installed it and my son loves it oh that's great yeah it's him he, he runs it he really uses it well yeah oh he's he's good with the rcs right yeah, i'd say he's a natural on one of the naturals on your trails yeah. Knows by, like the back of his hand. Oh, yeah. Everybody just follows him. He's there. Okay, follow me. Follow me. So. <laughs> yeah, so now natural gear, maybe. I got to wait for it to dry. But basically, there's a little crutch. So here's my guy. So now I gotta wait for it to dry. Now he's got a crutch. I guess it looks not bad for homemade, and it took me not too long to make. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I asked uh, Chris from GCM Racing to uh, to be with me tonight, but uh, he had a previous engagement. He's actually doing a live. Uh, broadcast with somebody else tonight oh gotcha that's right now i gotta do what's hard and duplicate this make another one <laughs> yep. then yeah, wait for the it the process is always fun yeah use the first one as your pattern kind of hold it against it when you're bending it and whatever yeah oh i've just discovered something really cool which is all right. So um, I've got all of this shop dust and everything um, lying about the floor. Cause you know, metalworking, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. um, when I cut off these nails with my grinder, because of course it's, it's a pretty thin deck. Um, the, the nails I were using were like that long. I put water around it. So that way it wouldn't, you know, burn the wood. And um Seems the water has mixed with the all the dust that came off of them and made this really nice stain for it. That's it looks really it looks black in the camera, but it's uh, actually a really light gray. And honestly, that's kind of I expected it to do this. And when I first saw it, when it wasn't dry, I saw how cool it looked. Well, now it's dry and it looks even cooler. Nice. So yeah, Is that gonna awesome. be your deck. What? Is that going to be the back deck of the truck? Of the Cappy Curler, yes. Okay. This is the heart I've got out right now. Which I actually used a, um, I forget what stain it was, but 
I used a stain. I used a stain on all of the wood on this and everything, which, oops, even as a interior as wood and the other chair is missing because it fell off. But I'll fix that later. Oh, you got little gears yeah. there. Uh, hang on. And then there's there's the deck and everything. So yeah, um, I got the gears from a old drill that I just took apart. And I was like, you know what, shoot, I might, I might need these in the future. And that was a couple years back. And well, I just so happened to use them now. Personally, I think it adds a bit of a unique touch to all the dash work and everything on it. Yeah. I even added some Lexan as windows. They're just sitting in there, but I mean, I'll glue them in eventually. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I'm definitely quite pleased with how this truck's turning out. So it's soon so it will be done. From your from the earlier videos with your earliest Cappy crawler. The Cappy crawler? Yeah. That's, that's, the version. that's a whole different truck, I swear. Well, that's what some guys were saying, uh a custom build uh, is never finished because it's forever evolving when you're doing mm -hmm. custom work. So much so that I even got a different truck and after the last one got stolen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Remember you say that. Never found it? No. Come on. Torch, light up. Yeah, I was wondering what you're doing. Trying to light my uh, butane uh, welder. That's yeah. Pretty neat. It's got a nice red flame right now inside. Yeah. Don't want to get too close to the camera. I'm going to melt it. Understandable. Mend the things up. Yeah. Good video, but. Yeah, you get cool in the video. We see the lens all melting. <laughs> I'm melting. I gotta try to do the bend at the same spot. But no, with Die Hard, which is what I just shown, I I think I've been working on that for about a a year now. Okay. Uh, at first, it it looked nothing like it does now, and I. Not a single piece of metal on the truck now is the same piece that when I originally started. <laughs> yeah, it has a lot more uh, detail. Oh yeah, I uh, I basically went from one body to another body, and then I was like, you know what, this body is close, but it's not quite exactly what I want, and I trashed that, and here we have the end product. And eventually, one day, I might make a howitzer for it to tow, so that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Have you seen any of the recently RC Sparks videos? He's been doing some, he's doing this RC truck that has some pretty cool leaf spring packages. 20 leaf the, springs. Um, the spin tire? Yeah, it's Which truck? It's um, Hong Kong. RC 12th scale, um, two wheel drive, old, like a, it's called a tractor truck, I believe. Oh, uh, the King Kong, I think, eh? The yeah, King Kong, yes. Yes. Yeah, I want to get that truck. It, it looks awesome. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. It's I, a Soviet. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's based off of Soviet. Yeah, you can tell by the red star. Oh, I <laughs> gotcha. I showed, my, I showed my son that truck and I told him I wanted to sell the camper so that I could buy the truck instead. And uh, he almost started crying. He goes, no, daddy. I go, why? Why are you acting that way? He goes, you build this. You build this out of nothing. Don't sell it. Gotcha. So he was, he was crying. It was cute. Your son's right. <laughs> Maybe you can you have enough parts with that extra evil you got with parts to put another one together and sell that. Um, another one what? Um, the, the mini Evo you bought recently that had extra parts you thought may have enough for a, like, like 
when you built that extra SCX or the extra yeah. slash? Yeah. Uh, I do have a chassis. I don't think there's enough parts to gotcha. actually build another truck. There's too many pieces missing. And yeah. when you start buying small little pieces to build a truck, you end up paying more than what you would have for the whole truck. Right. I got you. So I'm going to have to wait till I get something else or um, another bunch of parts from somebody. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all those little pieces, it's cheaper to buy the whole truck. In, definitely. Yeah. Just like I, I, uh, I picked up an MO3 a while back and uh, uh, I liked it and it was neat. And I said, oh, I'm going to rebuild it. But uh, by the time I picked up all the parts to rebuild it, it would have been cheaper to buy the kit version. The kit version is like a hundred and whatever it is, hundred and twenty-five or hundred and fifty, and I ended up paying like close to that, if not more, for all the parts I needed. Because I, after I started, I realized, oh darn, I'm missing this, I'm missing that. So I started looking on eBay and trying to find them, and I ended up paying more for it, but. It was fun. It was a fun little rebuild. Mm -hmm. Learning process yeah. too. Good to know. My table is gray and my crutches are white. So it really makes a white a big contrast here. Yeah, it's a interesting contrast. <laughs> Cause at first you think the table's white and then you see the uh the white crutches and you're like whoa yeah from uh from my phone the crutches kind of look like a, a an off white almost okay okay kind of like a canvas sort of white yeah i got to i got to buy or i got to find a better solution for internet here in the country uh because i my bandwidth is too low i've been watching some rc talks and I really don't like the quality of my camera. So I'm going to try buying a better camera first and see how it actually turns out. But I think it's my bandwidth more than my camera. That's the issue. Right. Yeah, down in Arizona, bandwidth ain't too good either. Not here either. I gotta get that spray for the styrene. Uh, the guys that work with styrene here in Ottawa, they're working with a glue. It's a contact cement glue. It's a quick, uh, like, uh, well, it's a, it's a quick glue, like a tire glue, but they have a spray that they put, it's just, psh, psh, and then it's instant, instant seize, like the whole thing just like, you can't take it off, it's, it's glued. Just like zap or something. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. I mean, it's awful if you mess up, but... Yeah, this gives me a little give. I can place it and I can move it. And I like that video with the waterproofing of that little nano drone. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a nice little okay. drone. I was surprised when I saw that. Right. There's a, a guy in the group, he actually says that it must be very sticky. It, it wasn't sticky to me when I picked it up. It was very dry, I guess, uh, the way he put it on. But it was not gunk or sticky or whatever. It was it was just dry. It looked normal. Gotcha. I saw some, somebody had some formal coating that you guys used, that, yeah. like a spray mm -hmm. version of it. A spray version. Oh, really? I can only imagine you should definitely use that outside. Yeah. Well, it all depends what you're using or spraying. I'd rather dip when you're using right. confirmal like that. You know you've got every nook, nook and nanny. True. But I do have some to do, and here's what I picked up. I keep an eye out for that stuff. So it's silicone conformal coating. Uh, that one has a little brush on it, so you can actually just brush the stuff. 
Hey, never even opened it yet. Pick up some of that liquid electrical tape like you guys use too. No, that I love that. It it works awesome. Yeah, that looks handy. Did you try it yet? No, I haven't opened it up yet. I got it at a uh, Harbor Freight. They had it. I don't know if you guys have those. They're like a discount harbor or discount um, tools and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, what's like a pet boy. No pet boy. Is that all right? The car parts. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's we call it Princess Auto. Oh right, yeah, I've seen that on people's video. Canadian Tire and Princess Auto. Yeah. Well, you get some good deals sometime in Princess Auto. Mm -hmm. Probably all owned by the corporation, just different names sell better in different places. Yep. Mm -hmm. They just paint the materials different colors. Bar Harbor Basher is on. Hi, how you doing? That's the magic. What is the magic? You put a comment up there. There's my two crutches. They look pretty close to the same. There we go. They're the same height. Same width. Now I got to paint them and put them in the truck, lay them down somewhere. Business. Yep. I won't have to explain it every time. I think I think it makes sense if you were to lay them down on the on the seat next to the guy. Yeah, that's where I'm just gonna go. It's gonna go in my TF2 on the seat. Yeah. You need to make a, a handicap placard or yeah. license plates. Yeah, hey, that'd be another scale accessory. Yeah, a handicap uh sticker to go on the dashboard for parking. Yep. I'm trying to put the crutches on tank, mini tank. <laughs> oh, what's he got now? A broken pinky toe? No, no. Well, he just, he, he, he um, he's getting old, you know, and he slid on the <laughs> ice here. It's very icy. So he kind of broke his ankle. So now he's got uh, taking it easy. Yeah, and take a picture of that and put it on uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get too caught up building the actual truck for the little scale accessories. Oh yeah, yeah. One of these days I'll be done with the builds and start doing the actual accessories. But yeah, right. It'll be later down the road. Actually looks good. Yeah. I think once you paint them silver and stuff, the scale won't be as obvious either. Yeah. So here's a picture of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should put like a cast on them or something. Yeah, true. Put some white. <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, Bar Harbor, uh, Bar, Bar Harbor Brothers says the silicone conformal coating is the magic. Gotcha. Have to write that down. Years of hopping in and out of the skitters. Let's see now. Let me take me off of uh, presenting like that. You guys can. What are you uh, working on, Kagan? Oh, just painting up uh, the axial ammo cans that come with the SCX tents and uh, a couple extra helmets that came with um, the bomber. They give you a few different options, uh, like motocross helmet or a race helmet or the skulls, and I went with the skulls. So. Figured I'd paint up the helmets and put them in my scale garage or in a truck on a seat okay. or something. Um, yeah, just little paint pen action. I find these acrylic testers paint pens work good on plastic. 
I used the enamel ones for a while. They're they, they flake off of flat plastic. If it's a roughed up surface, it'll stick. But these acrylic ones are better, I think. Cool. Just a little paint pen action. This is one that I did a while ago. You've seen that one with the kit? Yeah, these came, these came with the SEX 10 too. These little ammo cans. And then I put a couple of screws in there to hold the lids on. But, okay. Yeah, it's all just paint pen. I, I, I didn't think I showed you these last time. These are from Tower Hottie, these little sleeping bags. I didn't make these, but they're pretty cool. The actual sleeping bag. The zipper and everything. You got that from Tower Hobby? Yeah, I was at Tower Hobby. It was only seven ninety nine or something. You know, you can't make anything for that cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I swear it? Tower Hobby has some of the best prices. Great customer service too. I don't know if they make them any. They had white ones also for a while. I actually ordered the white ones, I believe, with but they came this blue and was kinda happy. Decent. That reminds me, I ordered a, <laughs> I bought a GM car. I went to the dealership. I said, I want, I want my car, but I'm, the only reason I'm going to buy it is if it's red. I said, no problem. I, we have one in Toronto. So I ordered it. And then the morning of coming and pick it up, uh, they say, well, there's a problem. It's not red. It's blue. So I said, well, uh, geez, I, I guess I don't have a choice. I'll take it anyways because I really wanted it. Oh, geez. So that day I go and pick it up. And as I get to the dealership, well, we have a problem. It's not blue. I go, well, it's not red and it's not blue. Can you guys make up your mind? What color is it? So they said it's white. So I ended up buying a white one. Okay. Nice. Maybe it's a mix of red and blue and purple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Henry Ford's motto used to be you can have any color you want as long as it's black for the model yeah. to be. Now I'm painting up the little horns that come with it. Bull horns. Okay. Now those bull horn came with the kit? Yep. Yeah. Right on the part sprue tree. Kind of small, but we'll see. Maybe I can put them in my garage or there. I just posted it on Instagram. See who who likes it first. Uh -huh. Bar Harbor Basher, are you going to be the first one to like the picture? Let's see who goes in there and comments the first one, saying, "I right. saw it live on YouTube." <laughs> right. Maybe you can get a set of crutches yourself. Okay, next thing. Do I start the baby seat? For me to start the baby seat, I got to get the baby out. Right. Yep. Let's see the size it up. Yep. Now, are you going to paint the gun a different color and make it a toy or anything? <laughs> baby toy gun or something? Flash rattle? I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. Oh, let me take you off presenting. Jem and RC, hello, fellow fellows. How you doing? He has to do his dishes. Okay. Been there, done that. Yep, gotta, gotta be done. If you put them all yeah. in the tub and turn the hot water on. Yeah. Best way. <laughs> he says if we're still on, by the time he's done, he's gonna jump in. Cool. Well, so we'll be, doing he's it, gotta so. be quick. It's either he's gotta be quick or we have to take our time. I'm not <laughs> Miles Friday. So, so the guy's name is Data. Dare. So maybe my baby, Dare. I'm going to have to Dare. Yeah, I have to keep his name. His name is Dare. That's a weird name. Yeah, I kind of like it. I think there was a anti-drug program named Dare, D-A-R-E. Okay. 
attacking him for something. I don't remember what for, but. This is actually a uh, Lego size. It's like the Legos, the Stanford. Yeah. Interesting. There, we got a little gun. And I don't like guns. Right. I'm kind of sad of what happened to this in the states there this week. Uh, yeah. Stupid in Florida. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's eighty something school shootings so far this year. Eighty? Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. I don't know if that's in the last three hundred and sixty-five days or since two thousand eighteen. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's not since two thousand eighteen. Yeah. I'm gonna stay silent on this one because guns is what set my country free, but yeah, I know. <laughs> the point. I know. I have guns. I enjoy my rights as an American too, but yeah. I think that oh, mental things. health is really a big issue. It yeah, plays a bigger is. part that they're not really talking about that. Yeah, they, they are, but they're not doing enough. But uh, yeah, I guess we should leave politics for after the stream. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is our seat, not. Uh... Good to get back to topic. Yeah, not American politics 101. Yeah, we don't want to talk. That. <laughs> so this guy comes with a little stand. I might keep the stand and have the baby standing once in a while. It's kind of cool in the sense that you can have them have him pose and and have him actually uh, lift his legs up. That's a good size, so. But I wonder if I can take off. Yes, I can. So this is like a Lego. I can actually take his head off. And well, here comes the armor. Carpet him and paint him. Yeah. Oh, this guy's build. This baby's gonna be built. He's gonna have the uh, chest and everything. <laughs> oh, baby oh. bodybuilder. <laughs> I just I just found out that Dare is a girl. She's got a ponytail. Oh, that explains it. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of see it in the. It does have a thing? But... See if I can't change camera. Put it on my big one. So, oh man, my big one froze again. I gotta get different different camera. Hmm. Right, acting up. Yeah, I will admit your choice of uh, children is interesting, to say the least. Yeah. But uh... <laughs> no, that one's still frozen. Let's see if okay, I can. I still have that, that little. Uh figure of your son that you had in the camping scene when you went yeah. to GCM? Yeah, I still have it. I don't know where he is right now, but he's somewhere here in the basement. Gotcha. Microsoft camera. Come on. There we go. Yep, you're up. So let's see if this one actually focuses a little bit better. So she's got a ponytail. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. Yeah, that focus is a lot better. Yeah, present to everybody here. It won't go away. So try to give her some light. Come on, buddy. Focus on that little head. Maybe I gotta take a picture. It shows it better on the picture. Yeah. But what I like about it, it is gonna be a small baby. Well, I guess not that small. No, I thought it looked pretty good compared to Tank when it was standing. Yeah. So here's Tank with the baby. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Perfect. A baby in a suit of armor. Yeah. He's I ready guess it's appropriate for off-road. Right. Doesn't need a car in a suit of armor. He just mounts around the cab. <laughs> oh, no. Tank fell down with the baby. Ah. Oof. Watch the soft spot.
Yeah, he had the baby and he actually fell on his back and the baby went flying. <laughs> you can make the <laughs> tank one of those uh, baby carriers, like I forgot what they're called, like the, pa the papoose. The, my sister had one. Of, you put your baby in the front of it and like a backpack on your front. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. That'd be pretty cool. There's a manufacturer's name for him. I forget what it is. All right. Well, it's about time for me to get off. All right. Uh, thanks for joining. <laughs> Sorry for making you lose interest. <laughs> no, it's it's about. I would love to stay longer, but gotcha. I gotta get off and get ready for the morning. Gotcha. Have a good evening. Yeah. Sleep well. You too. Nice uh, cool. talking to you guys once again. See ya. Thanks for joining. Yeah, took a nice picture of the family here. See if I can't show it off. Family portrait. Oh, yeah. Need a, like a backdrop or something like at a portrait studio. Yeah, well, the picture I took is uh, looks a little bit better. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks nice. It's good, definitely a good scale, a good eye. Yep. You never found the glasses that you lost? Oh no, they're 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 in the back somewhere and I I passed the lawnmower on top of that so many times it's gone. <laughs> right. There you go. That's funny how fast they you disappeared faster than a real pair of glasses. Oh yes, that's that's in, yeah. Like a week you had them or something, they're gone. It wasn't very long, I don't think. I can't really tell for sure, according to videos, but it didn't seem like you had them for long. Nope. <laughs> oh, um, it's it's got a mask, like the halo mask. I thought it was a mask that actually fit right on top of the head, but no, you actually have to physically take the head off and put this guy's head on. I see. So now uh, baby's got a bike helmet. And he really goes uh, right... Um, off-roading. Off-roading. He's got a nicer helmet. Yep. Keep the mud out of his eyes, her eyes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like having an excuse to go down the toy aisle as an adult. Not feel guilty. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> as guilty. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to take the Dremel to it and take away the the belt. Take away uh, it's got a scale belt, uh, knee pads. Yeah, those aren't needed. Make it look like a cherubic little baby, all plump. Yeah. Paint it all peach. Cool. So now, put that away. Put that away. Crutches are dra drawing. Let's put that away. I'll paint them another day, and I'll come back to my video. Stop presenting. Uh, Jamin says he's listening, by the way, so he's kind of here. So don't say nothing bad about Jam and RC. <laughs> Wait till he's there. Defend himself. Yeah, he's ha he has the right to defend himself. Not with guns, but with his mouth. Right, with his words. Yes. And he's not allowed to type because he's actually washing the dishes. Yeah, right. That's his phone's waterproof. So there she is on the stand. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can make there. the stand feel like a walker. Those little things that kids scoot around in. Yeah. <laughs> Some more stuff on my workbench.
I'm gonna make sure I don't lose his helmet or her helmet. All right. Stop calling his and start calling her. <laughs> it's like having a pet, having a surprise. It's an opposite sex than you thought. Oh yay! We may have puppies possibly. <laughs> Now I need some black styrene and I'm going to need my truck soon so I can determine the size of how the seat is going to be in the truck. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mine's so big that it doesn't fit. <laughs> I need to make a smaller one. Hey, the handgun actually fits in the tanks. The tank, uh, it actually fits in his hand. It looks like a gun. All right. The handgun. Yep, a little pocket handgun. Yep. Pow, pow, pow. Yep. I'm going to put it on my workbench. There you go. Right beside my plasma. Hopefully nobody shoots the plasma with it. <laughs> Could be a lighter that looks like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, truck. Uh, truck or styrene. Trying to figure out things on live is very risky because you never know how we're going to look. Right. Yeah, a lot either of people look, don't like to do it live. Yeah. Either you look stupid or you look right, one or the other. So I should take a picture or I'll have it. I'll get an elderly, like, care less. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as my little guy sees his, this army dude, I guess he's not going to want me to modify it too much. He's probably want to keep it. Yeah, right. Well, I'll have to go back to the store and pick up another one. There you go. So the baby's that size. Let me switch back to the other camera. So what I'm trying to do is I'm bending the baby uh, sitting down and uh, to see Dare Ani, Dare Ani, that's his name, <clears throat> and try to figure out how I'm going to do this seat. Because a baby in a baby seat sometimes looks very small. Uh, in the baby seat unless and then it starts growing out of the seat. So I want to make this seat uh, big enough that it will look like she's a smaller baby in the seat. I'm going to work in centimeters. For you U.S. people, that's a measurement that you guys should go with and not get away from those inches. That definitely does seem simpler. Inches and uh, one eighth, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty second. Throughout my childhood, they always threatened to go. We were going to switch over to the metric system, and never did. Oh yeah. Should have simplified. I don't know how many countries still use uh, Imperial. Imperial. Yeah, not many, probably. I, I used it a lot. I used to be in construction, so I used it uh, quite a bit in construction. Gotcha. But everything is changed now. Yep. Probably get all the materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, actually, a four by eight sheet is still four feet by uh, eight feet, which is kind of odd. Okay. Um, two by fours or two by what have you? Two by four are, are actually uh, one and a half by uh, three and a half mm -hmm. inches. Yep. Yeah, it's a misnomer or whatever. Same thing with two by sixes and two by eights are all one and a half by five and a half or seven and a half. Or... Yeah. But when you buy RC parts now, some are um, 
metric. Some parts are metric unless you buy them. It's in the U.S. made, like uh, Team Associated still uses uh, <clears throat> Imperial uh, screws, which is kind okay. of odd. Yeah, because yeah. all the tools, all the tools we need now is half Imperial and half metric. So I do have some metric one, and I do have some standard ones. I just have just metric for the most part, a couple imperial, but I don't, like I said, all I use is metric on the axial and traxis. So. so what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to do the side of the seat. So basically I just cut myself two square pieces that is going to be the side. So I'm I'm now going to give my angle, uh, and uh, I am going to make them. The only starting I got right now is black. Uh, I run out of white. That's my last white piece that I have. But uh, uh, once I'm done, I'm probably going to go and get a cloth and uh, go around it and make it look like it's puffy and make it look like a uh, a real good seat cushion. Yes. Idea. So now I'm just putting the baby seat, the baby on top, and then I'm going to draw some bumps. to see how it's going to look like. What's nice with this is if you don't like it, you can always change it after. True. Yeah, especially if you draw it out first. Yeah. Planning so systems. I just drew it out. So now it's got the shade. Yep. There you go. There. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, now you can see it. So the baby actually is going to sit in it. Oh, yeah. So it should be not bad. It might be a little bit big, but I'd rather have it big right now and then cut it off later. Mm -hmm. Cut it down. Right. Trim it and then I'm going to build a base for it to make it to st the base that sits on the seat. But when it's going to be sitting down or on the ground, it's going to be a little bit on an angle. That's the reason I put the angle on the bottom. So that when I sit it down, uh, the baby is actually going to be leaned back a little bit. Right. Babies are lazy that way. They like lying down. Right. Those darn weak neck muscles. Yeah. CCXRC is here. He's got company tonight, so he says he's probably not going to jump in. What a no wuss. Worries. I saw on his live video, he said his buddy was in town. Yeah. Sounds like he was having some fun with technology himself. Mm -hmm. Issues with memory, with his cameras and stuff. No, it's it's it's. I don't think it's the memory card. I think it's the Mac thing. I think it's because he's using the Mac. Let's pick on Tony Knight. <laughs> right. He says his buddy's here. Good. I, I was into Macs back in college, just because my college had Macs. Oh yeah. They're, they're supposedly more user friendly and stuff. Nowadays, I think they're all pretty user friendly. It's just which which one you prefer. Take he, says the Mac, he says is the Mac is pretty old. Does right. that mean yeah, your Mac? Like, your Mac no. is old, Tony, or is it the technology that's old? I think he's saying his laptop, probably, or his, yeah. I, maybe his iPhone or his iPad. 
Yeah, his iPad's probably got more processing power than his Mac does. Right, yeah, it's crazy how fast that memory and processing power. So here's my seat. I wonder if I can make it stand up. Do, do, do. Here, I use a scale jack to make it stand up. So that's the angle so far. I might have to cut these down. But I was looking at some pictures of uh, seats today. And it did look like some seats were pretty big on the sides, like the babies were in it. Right. Probably give us side impact protection. Yeah, side impact protection, yeah. Looks like it's got some acceleration ready to too, you know, like it's taking off forward. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the old RCA commercial or something where the speaker's blowing the guy's hair backwards and stuff. Yeah. See? Well, Tony, you should jump in anyways and just say hi and tell your buddy to come and say hi to Tank and Kagan. Right. We don't bite. You know we're nice. Online friends. I'm not racist. I'll talk to uh, white guys. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't know I'm black? Black Canadian. Yeah, I'm black Canadian. I do have Indian blood. Um, yeah. my uncle actually got his Indian cards. Oh, my wow. uncle and my cousin, they all have their cards for uh, Indian natives. Right. I, I theoretically could go and get it. Gotcha. You, down here in the States, sometimes if you're, you get a certain percentage of earnings from um, casinos and stuff, if you have a certain percentage of blood, I believe, they send you a check in the mail. Really? Uh -huh. Good thing I'm working with thin styrene. It's easier to cut. Yeah, it seems like you don't have to go over it as many times. No, but I also... Black styrene, I notice, is harder to cut because it's harder to see if you're cutting at the right spot. Ah, uh, gotcha. In the same spot twice. Those uh, pens that you use, they don't dry up after a while? Yeah, I'm finding that this white one is kind of a challenge. It's like working with white out, it's pretty tasty. <laughs> uh, the silver seems to last best. Yeah. Black, I hardly even used yet. But yeah, they do tend to dry out over time. I have a silver one. I've I've used it when I built my TF2, but I haven't tested it since. But it's been sealed, so it should be okay. Right. I've pulled the end of these out, and it looks like you can have... Uh, it comes with like a chisel tip, and the other end's like more oval-shaped, so I think you could turn it around maybe and stick it back in the other way, and it would work for you again if it seemed like it was dried out or mm -hmm. I'm not sure though wonder if we put it in paint thinner it's gonna thin out oh, yeah. there you go yeah these are just simpler than getting the actual paint out in a brush or something Once I put the uh, material and the cushions in there, it should look kind of cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. It should. I'm interested to see how people's flocking is turning out. I saw some Chris and Dana were getting into flocking a little bit. What do you mean flocking? Uh, it's like a texture material you add to like a surface to make it look like a velvet material almost. Oh, yeah? yeah? Like if you want to do a truck interior or something, you could add a like a maroon flock or something. They, they use it for grass and sceneries and stuff. You spray a sticky, and then you sprinkle the flock on. 
I have some of the papers in there. Is this uh, like fake grass? Scenery stuff. But they have it in different colors. Okay. And they're, they're experimenting with it for their, uh, I think their TF2 builds. Dana's doing a work truck TF2 build or something he's using it on. Oh, the, the city of Ottawa truck he's built looks just crazy. Yeah, yeah, that one. I think that one's the one that he experimented on the flocking on the interior. Uh, Chris invited me to his house to paint my uh, my truck, my Tonka truck. Oh, cool. That's handy. Maybe you should get a couple other things ready, too, to paint. See if I'll let you do a few things at once. Take advantage. Well, that's. I, I'm actually waiting for him to get some parts so uh, we can work on the um, uh, okay. when we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That will be cool. Cut, 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 cut. Don't cut the fingers. No, no finger cutting. So this styrene is pretty thin. The only thing I have to do is basically uh, give it a small little um, cut and then just bend it and it just snaps off. It's kind of nice. Yeah, right. Nice clean lines. I'm getting full of little pieces. It's like a, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Let's start labeling left and right side. And whatever. Yeah. Or laying it out like you do. That works good. So you say you're an electrician. Yep. Yep. Went to school for, well, swimming and partying mostly, but. Studio art and design. Okay. And, and how was the partying? Yeah, kinda, yeah, the partying was a lot of fun. School was, school was fun, too. I learned a lot, but didn't really use it in my trade or didn't go into whatever I had learned, you know. Oh, yeah? Um, yep, yeah, just electrician work for uh, somebody that has an actual license and I just do I work underneath him and work so I can work in the city and stuff I have I can get insurance and work for myself it's just a headache to have to find jobs and bill people mm -hmm. simpler for me just to work for somebody else so right now you don't have your license but you do uh, you do work with somebody that has a license yeah, yeah exactly Now the trick is going to be to glue them together and for it to actually stick there. I found the little Irwin clamps, the little woodworking clamps work nice or little... Um, yeah, but when you're putting it on an angle... Uh, yeah, yeah. I find the black styrene, for some odd reason, is softer than the white styrene. You mentioned in the sense the that it's gluing it's together. Simple. Yeah, it melts faster. Hmm. Seems to, anyways. So I'm going to bend down and while I'm well, cooling. While that, back, you were messing with your brother's welder? Yes. Yeah, make, it's still in the back kind of broken. Make welding. Um, you were wondering yeah. the surface you should work on. It seems like a lot of welders work on metal surfaces, you know. Like they yeah, have a metal welding table, and they use magnets to hold stuff at certain angles. And 
Yeah, Chris told me if you get too close to it, though, uh, you demagnetize the magnet. Oh, okay. That's because uh, because of the heat, the heat will actually demagnetize a, a magnet. Huh. Didn't realize that. That's cool. And he actually did it uh, for me. He did it on purpose. <laughs> One of his magnets from his collection. Yeah. He, he seems yes. like a ma magnet fan. Oh yeah, not a lot of body posts where on the builds he built. <laughs> nope. I like those ring magnets. I didn't realize they had that kind of thing. Yeah. It's not bad. It's drying faster than I anticipated. And when you're building scaled item, it doesn't have to be as true to scale. It just has to look like it. Um, but like anything, the longer time you take building it, the better it's going to look and the truer scale. But it just comes with experience. Uh, the more you build, the more uh, the first one you're ever going to build is not going to look scale. And then the next one is going to look better. The next one is going to look better. Um, it's just like Cappy when he built his first little truck. Uh, um, it looked it, it looked okay for what he knew how to build, but yeah. now uh, some of his truck are really starting to look really good and really scale. Mm he's -hmm. changed his material now, and it's 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 really showing that he's been experimenting. Definitely. Especially his first one was out car cardboard, I think. Yeah, I think the first one was, yeah. Yeah, and then he moved to core blast. Yep. And then he started making a metal one, and now he's making another metal one, but that one actually looks... You you can really see how good he, he's evolved. Yeah, he's, he's working the metal more now. Yep. And his joints and everything look a lot better, and just smoother work, for sure. wonder how that's going to look if I put it in a seat right away. See if I'm overdone it with the width. width. All right. Oh, boy, seems a little lost in there. <laughs> it's got Ooh. plenty of room for cushion. Oh, yeah. That's that. That's basically why I'm making it. Uh, I'm making it that big is so I can put some uh, cushions in there yep. and put some material. But he is very, she is a very small baby. Right. So. Taking pictures. Lots and lots of pictures. Right. Okay. Document process. And what's nice with this, if I don't like it, I'll just take it apart and build it again. Or not even take it apart, just throw it, throw it in the garbage or whatever. All right, set it aside and maybe make something else out of it. Yep. Make a, make a car seat for your, your uh, son's figure when you find it. Yeah. I actually might, might actually fits better in my son Jeeps. Because uh, mm -hmm. that scale, uh, that's an odd scale. Yeah, it is. Because when you put it beside the XEX10, uh, that Jeep is supposed to be a little bit not the same scale, it is not 10 scale. Closer 
starting in ninth for sure. I gotta come back into the camera. I gotta keep thinking about that camera. Come on, move up. My fingers are beginning to be sticky. Wonder why? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oftentimes you're trying to get the glue off more than you're gluing things together. Good thing this is not contact cement. And this is waiting for glue to dry. Cue in the crickets. Cue in the crickets. Watching the grass grow. Yeah. Insert insert cricket noise here. Yeah, it's really it's weird. The styrene is actually melting with the glue, and it's actually my turning my fingertip black. Okay, you know, taking the dye out of it, or yeah, yeah. your finger styrene. Yeah, I think I'll pick some styrene up this week. What's weird with the black is you can't really tell. Well, I guess you can tell a little bit of the shape. Right, yeah. Hard to tell. Shadow. It just looks like yeah. solid black mass. With the baby in there, it's easier. Yeah, I think that'll look good once you get the, seat, the padding in there. Yeah, once I put the padding and I make a... Uh, when you have a baby in a baby seat, there's a second set of padding in there for the baby. True. And some sort of a harness. Yeah. Harness might be a little easy. Um, I basically have a little notch there. I'm probably going to cut. But you can see the, the it goes there. But I might actually cut that in a circle instead. To give it headroom when it, it actually starts to grow. When the baby grows. It's not going to stay small all its life, you know. It is going to grow. Babies do grow. <laughs> Jammin, hey guys, how do you get in here again? Okay, Jammin, uh, if you go to my Facebook um, page, um, which is the Tank RC, you can get in here or go to my Google Plus page, which is also the Tank RC. Uh, if you need a link, let me know. You can scroll all the way up also. There's not that many chats, but it should be a little higher in the chats. Let me know if you can see that link to join in. And let me get the car to actually see how it looks like. Yeah, right. Definitely got to check that out so it doesn't hit the roof. Oh, great. I forgot I got the plow on it. There you go. The baby can be your wingman. Make sure you don't take out any mailboxes. Yeah. <laughs> take my phone out so I don't put anything on the plow. The phone on the plow. And now I have to take my camera up. Proline put out an interesting new body for the SCX-10s that has full-scale seats. Right, okay. right out of a, it's a Lexan body, but it has a roll cage, kind of like a dingo or, or a deadbolt style. Okay. Yeah, full seats. I, I don't know if it's got room for full legs, but pretty close. Um, uh, I think it looks fine. Kind of I did a video with it. It fits pretty good in the seat. 
once I okay. do something to keep it, it's it's almost the same width of the seat. Oh, that's good. So right now it won't stay up because the seat is kind of the bucket seat. Break the law, turn them around, let them see out the windshield. Better so it is a it is a rear facing seat. Babies should be sitting at the rear, facing rear. Right, right. Some people don't know that yet, but some people yeah. should. Prevent whiplash. And uh, yeah. you got the airbag up front. I don't think the baby's supposed to be up front anyway because of the airbags, but that Jeep probably doesn't have them. <laughs> I think that's going to look pretty good. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Can take a picture of that. I can see it going through the waterfall now. Yeah. <laughs> Have to give her a little life preserver. Now she can put the helmet on. <laughs> I think it's going to look uh, pretty good on that. Let's try it on my uh, razor buggy. Because it's almost the same seat on the razor buggy. Okay. Once I'm done, I'm going to try to take some pictures with dimensions also, so I can actually put the dimensions on the web. Nice. Pass it along to the brethren. Damn RC. I'm going to try and make it. To. He's tired. Oh, no. It's all good. A five-point seat belt will look good. Cool. Yeah, it would. Right. We'll, we'll work on that. Super, super safe. But, yeah, even in the Razor buggy, the Razor buggy is black. But once I put material on there, it's probably going to be, well, she's a girl. I might have to go pink. Darn. Back pink. Yep. And now I got to find some uh, very soft foam and uh, do a car seat with it. Right. Pack it up with the. Uh, it actually looks good in this seat also. So if I can find a seat belt for this, and she'll be able to fit on here too. Nice. So, let's see if I can't cut that. A lot of people use zip ties for seat belts. Yeah, it's the right size. Right, get you some started anyway. Yeah. They do. They do sell some pretty scale seat belts, though. Yeah, they do. There's some guys that make some nice five point seat belts. Right. Three D print stuff to some, some point down the road I'd like to get a 3D printer I'll let the technology come along a little bit price come yeah. down and then I'll look into it the 3D printing is part is fun uh, also making the parts but actually creating the parts is a little tougher because you do have to learn a little bit about 3D but some programs have really evolved and makes it easy now so gotcha they're more user friendly the programs yeah. themselves yeah, CAD seems a little intimidating. Oh, I work with CAD all the time, but not in 3D, only in 2D. I see. I'm trying to learn it. I've been looking at some YouTube videos and other videos, and my boss wants me to uh, take a course in architecture, yeah, yeah. in architecture, and I might just take him up on it. Sure. That's nice. So I give this an angle on top, so now it's rounded. 
kind of glad they didn't cut it the same size because I think it's going to give it more oh, yeah. of a look being around. Yep. Yep. So when the so baby's in there with all the cushions, it should look kind of cool. It looks small right now, but I don't think it's that small. And especially if I do a handle on it, mm -hmm. I have tank holding yeah. it. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good size, actually. Carry her into the house. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll do a handle on it. I might get uh, some uh, smaller tube, steering tubes like this, and actually try to bend it very softly um, and, and bend the tube so I can actually make a nicer handle. Mm -hmm. Up along the upper edge. Yeah. These things are... I think they look already painted. Yeah, they're going to look good once I paint them. You can I, need to have, uh, I don't know if, you're, if your wife can knit or crochet or make a little blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Next RC talk. Well, I, I, I wasn't sure what to talk about tonight, so I decided to do this last minute. Uh, this worked out for me. I like it. So it's more quiet. It's always nice to get something done, too. Yeah. Oh, a lot of messages. That's the one downfall, like you've said before. <laughs> yeah, especially when you're working. Stuff. I'm done. Okay, nobody, there's, I didn't read the message, but I was making sure it wasn't uh, RC talk related. Gotcha. So, that said, we're going to keep talking, but we're going to go off air because I'm pretty much done here, except for trying to find foam and different stuff. But like you notice, it's pretty easy. You just get your imagination rolling and just start cutting some stuff and putting stuff together and just like uh, a while back, if you look uh, on my videos, you'll find uh, how I made this little broom. Uh, so basically it's just a broom. It's an old toothbrush uh, and a, uh, a stick. So that's how to make a scale br uh, broom. Uh, basically fun. brown tape, uh, brown paint to make it look old and dusty. And That turned out good. Yeah, for some odd reason, uh, after I drilled it, I guess, I don't know why, but or age or maybe the paint, my toothbrush actually broke in half. So that's, I only have half the bristles now. It used to be okay. double, but now yeah. it's only half. But it actually looks even more scale now that it it's only one. Yeah, you can't tell it's a toothbrush anymore, for sure. Yeah. So it actually broke in half, but it actually makes it look good. Yeah. Now I got a broom, I can actually broom some stuff and clean up the shop. Yep. Now you need a dustpan. Yeah. Oh, we're going to make a dustpan here. There's a piece to make a dustpan. Yep. On the next RC talk, how to make a dustpan. No. I like it. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Let me switch camera real quick so I can say bye to everybody. Uh, I guess I won't be able to. I'll switch that camera instead. Because the other camera froze up again. Right. I'm getting a new camera soon um, because my Microsoft, for some odd reason, keeps freezing on me. I have no idea why. Uh, but the Logitech uh, seems to be okay. But the Logitech is at a lower resolution. So there's something's going on here. Uh, so I got to check something. Maybe I need a new laptop. Um, or maybe I need a Mac like CCXRC. Mm -hmm. uh, make things go wow. Anyways. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys, and um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't agree with the video. But please leave me a comment and tell me what you thought. Thanks, and we'll talk to you on the next RC Talk. Keep having fun.